Okay, we've got an example here about an avocado. So let's talk about that because I like saying avocado. When an avocado is selected at random from those delivered to a food store, the probability that it's ripe is 12%. Bruised, about 5%. And the ripe and bruised is a little bit over 1%. Uh, really close to 2%. Rounding your answers to the nearest thousand, find the probability that an avocado uh, randomly selected from those delivered to the store is not bruised, ripe, and bruised given that it is ripe. Okay, so not bruised. Well, the probability of it being bruised is 0.54, so not bruised is the complement of that. 1 minus 0 0.054. Right, it's the complement, and that's 0 0.946. Right, again, this goes back to our Venn diagrams. If you have a diagram here, and it's sometimes bruised, sometimes B for bruised, R for, for ripe, and the intersection is bruised and ripe, essentially. So uh, here we're saying, well, one of the not bruised, not bruised would be everything but bruised. So it could include ripe, but it's just not bruised. So it's one minus the bru one minus the bruising, which is this circle right here in the Venn diagram. If you took this Venn diagram away, what would be left is all this red shading, which is which are all the avocados that are uh, not bruised. So we can use the complement to solve that one. The next one says ripe, given that it is bruised. Okay, so ripe. Given that it's bruised, let's go back to some of our definitions here. Let's erase some of this. Ripe, given that it's bruised. So, probably that it's ripe. Given that it's bruised equals the probability of, sorry, I was just going out there, ripe and bruised over the probability of it being bruised. So ripe and bruised, we're told, is 0 0.019. And the probability of it being bruised is 0 0.054. And if we divide those two, we get our estimate of about 35%. OK, so 35% does that match ripe given bruised? So OK, that was ripe given bruised. Now, what about bruised given ripe? We can change the order here. Bruised given ripe. Think about that for a moment. What's going to happen? It could be that R and B is the same as B and R, but I'm just going to write out. I'm copying this right here now, essentially. It, the probability of B and R over the probability of R. So bruise not ripe, you can see that's slightly, slightly different. Now ripe and bruise, bruise and ripe, we're not really just distinguish here between the order. So that's just gonna be 0 0.019. And the probability that's ripe is 0 0.12, and if you divide those two, you get 0 0.158. Okay. Are the events ripe and bruised independent? No. And um, here, you can go back and reference your old work if you want to talk about why you don't think it is, is fair, or if you do think it's fair. Or you might think one or the other in that one. And let's move on.